Alright, today is July 13th. This is episode 78, I believe. Didn't uh, video yesterday because um, we got this front bumper installed. I went to the hardware store and got some stainless bolts, nuts, lock washers. And then our next step was to install the windshield with the hinges that I had painted along with the doors. And the stupid things don't fit. They don't have good alignment. And uh, this is just rust reformer, by the way. Um, so we had to jettison that. Uh, I did find some. I had to get the OEM uh, hinges, which for those out there that are needing uh, OEM replacements, because I'm telling you right now, I don't think there's a pair out there, Kentrol, Crown, Smitty Belt, or Omix or otherwise. I don't know, there's probably one or two other brands. They're all basically the same. They don't line up with the holes. I read a bunch of reviews too from people complaining of the same problem. So, uh, and in the process, we did get, happen to get one on, um, on the, let's see, it was, yeah, it was on this side, but when we tried to line it up on the windshield, it would not line up at all. But I put the door on with, uh, with the one that was mounted here and the alignment of the, the holes here was so bad that it actually had the door take the paint off of the, the thing. Um, which really made me mad. But anyway, I found some OEM factory replacement hinges at Collins Brothers in Texas, $125 each. So, uh, yeah, ouch. But anyway, what can you do, you know? So anyway, today what I'm doing is uh, some of the other assembly that needs to be done. I got the taillights on. I'm about to rewire uh, the taillights because I had to cut that. Uh, in the process of the restoration. Um, once those are on, I'm gonna get this gas uh, nozzle thing. I got a new housing for it right here. That's gonna go in. Actually, it's, I believe it's that way. That's gonna go in and let's see, what else did I have? I might put the, uh, the rear seat in. Um, so just miscellaneous stuff, so here we go. All right, we got the tail lights put on and the gas uh, nozzle thing. We also uh, moved the AC um, unit, the evaporator, back. Um, I put an elbow on one of the hoses, one of these. I thought I was gonna need to use two, but I only needed to use one. And that allowed us to uh, move it back some so that the, you know, because of the elbow, the hose isn't crimping. And now it's flush with the, um, flush with the dash so that's nice um, the only thing that I would say though that I don't like about this um, kit so far is that the mount for the for the driver's side is is in this region over here about in there and therefore it's not supportive enough of this far side here and this wants to hang down a little bit so to counter that I went ahead and lowered it a little bit on that side so it looks more uniform but it's kind of aggravating because I really want that to be up against the dash, but it's, it's a, uh, without putting a, you know, unsightly zip tie on it and zip tying it, like maybe right here through the center, I don't think there's a way to do it, which I don't know, maybe I will do that because it is black, it wouldn't show that much, but I wish it was uh, all the way up against the bottom, but it's better than it was. So uh, I think that's gonna do it for today. I gotta go do some uh, shopping with my son, so I uh, need to get him a pair of swim trunks and other things, so uh, I gotta pick up some more beer as well while I'm out there. All right, we'll catch you guys next time.